my name is Emily Rumble, and this is Michaela Turner. Uh, we've been co-directing Music Camp for the past two weeks, and we have just had a phenomenal time with your campers. Uh, we are so blessed that you let us hang out with them for two weeks, <coughs> make music, and have fun. Uh, we've had a great time. We've done lots of cool things. We've done classic camp activities like Gaga Ball, and Secret Challenge Meal, and Choir Every Day. Uh, and we've also done some special things like have um, a pastors in exile pastor come and talk to us about protest songs and uh, go to the rec center and lots of other really fun and cool things that I'm sure your campers will tell you about when they head home. We want to share a little bit about um, this camp's theme. Um, we pick a different theme every year and we focus on it for two weeks and we try to integrate that into the music that we're learning and the conversations that we're having. And this year's theme is called Seasons of Hope. It was inspired by um, the fact that we often encourage our younger generation to be the change, to make a difference in the world and, and make things better for the, for the future. And that's all well and good, but we need hope to sustain us in that work. And so we wanted to talk about what does hope look like in different seasons? Um, what does it mean to be hopeful um, in seasons of despair? And what does it mean to be hopeful um, when all is going well? Um, and so we hope that some of that will uh, be reflected in the music that we sing tonight and that you'll catch glimpses of what we've been learning. Um, and just a note about our campers, we are so proud of them. It has been such a joy and a delight to work with them. Um, I mentioned at our service last Sunday, and yes, we pulled together a service, uh, worship service in just a week. Um, we, I mentioned that they are creative, they are curious, they are incredibly talented, and all of that has become all the more true over our final week. Um, so we're delightfully proud of them, we're so excited to see what they um, achieved tonight, and we hope that you will be just as proud of them by the end of the concert. So without further ado, let's sing some more.
orchestra to come back on with their instruments, we invite you to join in the singing. Uh, there are two hymns in your program. Uh, the first one we'll sing is Could It Be That God Is Singing? Uh, and I invite you to rise as you're able. Thank you. 
Can you hear me? Oh. Uh, what you just heard was uh, water music uh, from Handel. Uh, that was uh, a wonderful uh, demonstration of our dynamic range. Uh, well done. <laughs> I'm so happy uh, you all are listening to me. Uh, <laughs> Our next item on the program is an excerpt from the Swan Lake Suite, uh, and we're very happy to have one of our piano ensemble members, uh, Jumping In on Orchestra, on the piano slash harp, and Bell on the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, remember it very fondly, and 37 years ago doesn't seem that long ago. The camp was founded 38 years ago, and I'm, I'm happy to acknowledge, as I did last year, that Marie Penner is here, who is uh, one of the founding members of that committee, and I hope it's amazing and wonderful. <laughs> Uh, we always love to have music camp come to Grable. In August, it can get kind of lonely around here. Our offices are just right above here, so we do know uh, when you're here. Uh, and, and it's uh, always a great time uh, here at, uh, to have the campers here. I want to thank uh, Emily and Michaela and all the staff uh, and the music camp committee, which is a group of volunteers. Uh, to Angelica Allen and the music department here at Grable uh, for all of their support and their leadership in bringing this uh, wonderful program together. Um, you can clap there. And, um, and thanks especially to the campers. Uh, uh, the question was posed, you know, what does hope look like uh, at the beginning of the concert? And to me, hope looks <laughs> Like these campers. It's, it's been a very inspiring concert tonight, so thank you very much. Um, the offering uh, is, uh, we do have an offering here. Uh, we offer this, uh, this camp in partnership with Mennonite Church Eastern Canada. Offering helps us to keep uh, the, the uh, fees affordable, and it also allows us to offer uh, financial support to families so that everyone can come to camp. So I hope you'll consider uh, a gift. Thank you very much, uh, and enjoy the rest of the evening.
Uh, I had the pleasure of working with five lovely pianists this year in piano ensemble. You've already heard a few of them, um, but what you don't know is that that offertory was actually written by each of them. So uh, we did a little bit of composing in piano ensemble this year. They wrote their own melodies, they harmonized them, they arranged them into duets, and that was the product of that. So really, really fantastic. Uh, what you're about to hear is a group effort, uh, a four movement suite that we have arranged ourselves. We have called it Leather Leaves. I can't quite remember why that was. <laughs> because of, oh right, we took all the letters of all the songs that we arranged and put them in, in like a word scrambler and that was one of the things that came out. Uh, so you might see some interesting techniques on the piano during this song. We had a lot of fun exploring the bounds of the instrument and what it means to be a pianist. Uh, so I hope you enjoy our arrangement. Uh, it's called Leather Leaves. Um, yes, thank you very much. <laughs>
you are a camper involved in this part of the program, you can come to the front with us. And LITs, you can come and stand close by, because you're next. At OMMC, we have a tradition of acknowledging campers in their last year at camp, so that means they've just finished grade 10, um, and LITs in their last year of the LIT program, uh, which means they've just finished grade 12. Uh, and we have three lovely campers here who are graduating. Uh, we have Julia, and we have Io, and we have Maya. Uh, and we have so appreciated their contributions to music camp uh, this year and in previous years, uh, and we feel really blessed to have gotten to know all of you. Um, so, as is tradition, we have a tuning fork for each of you, uh, so you can always find your note, you can always find your way when you leave camp. Always find the right key, the right pitch. So these are for you. expanded a bit beyond that. And there was a subset of Menno singers called Menno Youth Singers in the past that folded as a result of COVID-19. So we're bringing it back and we're reinvigorating it uh, with some tweaks. So in this case, uh, the Menno Youth Ensemble is for vocalists as well as instrumentalists. It will um, sometimes conform to your choral expectations and sometimes it will depart for them and that really depends on who registers and what they're interested in. So we're trying to follow our OMMC model a little bit and it can uh, continue some of that OMMC energy through the year. Um, so I invite you to take a look at that announcement. It's for ages 14 to 24. It will most likely consist of rehearsals on Tuesday evenings, although we're still confirming. Um, and there'll be a couple of performances, both formal and informal, uh, throughout each semester. There is a small fee associated with it, um, but we're still confirming that as well, um, and I'm sure we can uh, negotiate as needed. So I really do invite you to consider that, especially for those of you who are parents in the room um, and have, have campers who are leaving feeling really um, invigorated with what we've done over the last two weeks. <laughs> 